Take a look at the latest deep field image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope. It has revealed something truly mysterious in the universe, a strange object that is unusually bright and has an odd shape, leaving scientists stunned. Currently, they have no idea what it is. It could be a distant galaxy or something entirely unknown, but that's not all. The James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered even more strange phenomena. This time, scientists have detected something very unusual in the early universe for the first time. Some of these findings are so unusual that they are challenging our understanding of cosmic expansion, raising questions about whether it is real or just an illusion. They are also forcing scientists to consider the possibility of other universes or extra dimensions beyond our own. Something real is happening, but we can't yet determine if it's a mistake in our observations, a mistake in our interpretation, or something nature is surprising us with, such as a new kind of dark matter, a new kind of dark energy, or something else that would be truly exciting to discover. If there's a Nobel Prize in here, it could be one of them. Nobel Prize winning physicist David Gross even stated at a conference that this isn't just a problem or a concern, it's a crisis. So, why are scientists so concerned about Webb Telescope's latest discoveries? And what exactly Webb recently observed that left everyone amazed? This image shows the region of study of the James Webb Telescope's Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey. This area includes and contains the Hubble Extreme Deep Field and reveals new galaxies at record-breaking distances that Hubble could not see. One such galaxy, named F200 DB045, is potentially a high redshift galaxy with an estimated redshift of 20.4, meaning it existed just 160 million years after the Big Bang. However, this galaxy still has to undergo spectroscopic tests to be confirmed. If verified, it would be one of the oldest and most distant galaxies known, and would completely contradict our Big Bang model, which says that our universe is only about 14 billion years old. Now, look at this image taken from Hubble. It shows the arrangement of galaxies according to our galaxy evolution model, along with their redshift values. As you can see, the distant early galaxies look small and less organized, while the nearby galaxies look huge and organized, like our Milky Way galaxy. But recently, the James Webb Telescope has discovered many giant and spiral galaxies like our galaxy in the distant universe, and this discovery has proved this galaxy evolution model wrong. The Webb Telescope found that spiral galaxies like our Milky Way were much more common in the early universe than previously thought. Specifically, the research revealed that about 30% of galaxies exhibited a spiral structure as early as 2 billion years after the universe's formation. Previously, Scientists believe that spiral galaxies took much longer to develop their distinct shapes. Now, these discoveries are very puzzling because some galaxies are supporting the standard cosmic model, while others are completely contradicting it. These galaxies are explaining a universe that is too complex to even imagine. But wait, there's something even more shocking than distant galaxies. As scientists look deeper into the early universe, they found objects that don't seem to be galaxies at all. And right now, there's no clear explanation for them. The deeper the James Webb Space Telescope looks into the early universe, the more it uncovers strange, bright objects with unusual properties that baffle scientists. These small, luminous objects were abundant in the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang, but what makes them even more intriguing is that they don't seem to be galaxies. Right now, scientists can't say for sure what these objects are, how they formed, or why they seemingly disappeared a few billion years after the Big Bang. This remarkable instrument we put in space is finding things that we didn't expect and can't explain, which means we have to revise our understanding of the universe. Will the history of astronomy be divided between before Webb and after Webb? Yes, I believe it will be. Some scientists are even arguing that these objects may not be galaxies at all, but something entirely different. In fact, NASA scientists have referred to these mysterious objects as a new class of galaxies. Dale Kochevsky of Colby College in Waterville, Maine, and lead author of the study, said, We're confounded by this new population of objects that Webb has found. We don't see analogues of them at lower redshifts, which is why we haven't seen them prior to Webb. Our theories about the universe work perfectly when we explain the local universe, but all the theories about the formation of galaxies and the growth of black holes fail miserably when we look back in time closer to the Dark Ages. It seems like something really weird happened there, and our theories have no clue about it. If we look as far as we can with the telescopes we have right now, up to only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, 
This is something we're watching as it was just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, one of the first ever galaxies to form, yet it already has a supermassive black hole at its center. That really emphasizes the problem of explaining how we form these things, because there really isn't that much time between the Big Bang and these first galaxies that already have supermassive black holes at their centers. By the way, the galaxies of the early universe have not been the only headache for scientists. As we've discussed before, recent findings from the Webb telescope suggest that the universe might be expanding at different rates in different regions. This challenges the long-standing belief that cosmic expansion is the same everywhere in the universe, and that it began after the Big Bang. Scientists are now questioning whether the expansion of space is truly real or just an illusion. But the debate doesn't stop there. They're also beginning to wonder, does the Big Bang really mark the beginning of our universe, or could there be something beyond it? Following the unprecedented discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope, some renowned scientists are now claiming that the universe did not begin with a Big Bang. They suggest that there could be other universes or dimensions beyond what our current scientific understanding can explain. One of these scientists, Dr. Roger Penrose, even proposes that other universes exist beyond the Big Bang. Dr. Roger Penrose believes that some remnants of the black hole of the previous universe can still be seen in the microwave background of the universe. This shows that there was a universe before ours. For centuries, this idea was purely philosophical, but now groundbreaking discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope are giving it solid scientific backing and bringing it into the spotlight. This is a geometry known as hyperbolic geometry, a very nice representation of infinity. I'm taking that picture as important in thinking about space-time, that the Big Bang was like one of those eerie boundaries, but it's nice and smooth, and you can imagine that you could continue this universe to outside that region. So even though the eerie picture ends with this circular boundary, you could still imagine that the space-time continues out beyond that. According to Roger Penrose, the universe goes through endless cycles of creation and destruction. In this theory, each universe ends in an extremely quiet state, where black holes slowly disappear over unimaginable amounts of time. However, the energy left behind from that dying universe could trigger the Big Bang of a new universe. Essentially, our universe might be just the latest in a series of universes, with remnants of the previous one influencing its birth. Surprisingly, scientists are now finding supermassive black holes in early galaxies, and this challenges our standard cosmological model which struggles to explain how these giants formed and grew so massive in just a few billion years. Scientists believe that these black holes may have originated from even older primordial black holes, ones that might have existed before the Big Bang itself. This is a fascinating idea because the Big Bang is generally thought of as the beginning of everything, including time and space. If these black holes existed before the Big Bang, it suggests there might have been something happening in the universe's history that we don't fully understand yet. These ideas challenge our traditional understanding of the cosmos, and suggest that the universe is far more complex and mysterious than we currently comprehend. The discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, have not only revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos, but have also reignited profound philosophical questions about the nature of existence, the origins of the universe, and the possibility of realities beyond our own. The idea that our universe might be just one in an endless cycle of creation and destruction invites us to think beyond the confines of our current scientific understanding. It challenges us to consider not only the origins of our universe, but also the possibility of other dimensions, parallel realities, or even entirely different universes that may forever remain just beyond the reach of our comprehension. At the heart of these discoveries lies a fundamental question. What does it mean for our universe to have a beginning? And could there be something beyond that beginning? For centuries, the Big Bang Theory has served as the cornerstone of modern cosmology, providing a framework for understanding the birth of our universe approximately 13.8 billion years ago. However, the JWST's findings, such as the existence of supermassive black holes in the early universe and the detection of mysterious, luminous objects that defy classification, are forcing scientists to reconsider this narrative. Could the Big Bang have been not the absolute beginning, but rather a transition point from a previous universe? This idea, championed by physicists like Dr. Roger Penrose, suggests that our universe might be part of an infinite cycle of cosmic birth and death, with each iteration leaving behind traces of its existence. 
This cyclical model of the universe raises profound philosophical questions about the nature of time, space, and reality itself. If the universe undergoes endless cycles of creation and destruction, what does that imply about the passage of time? Is time linear as we perceive it, or is it cyclical, looping back on itself in an eternal dance of cosmic renewal? Moreover, if remnants of previous universes can influence the birth of new ones, does that mean that the laws of physics, as we know them, are not universal constants, but rather variables that shift from one cosmic cycle to the next? These questions challenge our most basic assumptions about the nature of reality and force us to confront the limitations of human knowledge. The JWST's discoveries also invite us to consider the possibility of other dimensions or parallel universes. The concept of a multiverse, a vast collection of universes, each with its own unique set of physical laws and properties, has long been a topic of speculation in both science and philosophy. While the idea was once relegated to the realm of science fiction, recent advancements in cosmology and theoretical physics have given it a more solid foundation. The JWST's observations of anomalies in cosmic expansion and the unexpected abundance of spiral galaxies in the early universe could be interpreted as evidence of interactions between our universe and others. If true, this would mean that our universe is not an isolated entity, but rather one of many in a vast, interconnected multiverse. This idea has profound implications for our understanding of existence. If other universes exist, each with its own unique physical laws, what does that mean for the concept of reality? Are there universes where the laws of physics are entirely different, giving rise to forms of life and matter that we cannot even imagine? And if so, how do these universes interact with one another, if at all? The possibility of a multiverse challenges us to expand our definition of reality and to consider that our universe might be just one small part of a much larger, more complex cosmic tapestry. Beyond the scientific implications, these discoveries also have deep philosophical and existential significance. They remind us of the vastness of the cosmos and the limitations of human understanding. For all our technological advancements and intellectual achievements, we are still only scratching the surface of the universe's mysteries. The JWST's findings are a humbling reminder that there is still so much we do not know, and perhaps may never fully understand. This realization invites us to embrace a sense of wonder and curiosity, to approach the universe not as a puzzle to be solved, but as a source of endless fascination and inspiration. At the same time, these discoveries challenge us to rethink our place in the cosmos. If our universe is just one of many in an infinite cycle of creation and destruction, what does that mean for humanity's significance? Are we merely fleeting inhabitants of a transient universe, destined to be erased in the next cosmic cycle? Or does the existence of other universes and dimensions open up new possibilities for meaning and purpose? These questions touch on the very essence of what it means to be human and to seek understanding in a vast and often incomprehensible universe. Ultimately, the JWST's discoveries are not just scientific milestones, they are also invitations to explore the deepest questions of existence. They challenge us to think beyond the boundaries of our current knowledge and to imagine possibilities that were once thought to be the realm of fantasy. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we are not only uncovering the secrets of the universe, but also gaining new insights into ourselves and our place in the grand scheme of things. The journey of discovery is far from over, and the mysteries that lie ahead are sure to inspire awe, wonder, and a renewed sense of curiosity for generations to come. In the end, the universe is more than just a collection of stars, galaxies, and black holes. It is a mirror that reflects our deepest questions and aspirations. As we peer into the depths of space and time, we are also peering into the depths of our own existence, seeking answers to questions that have puzzled humanity for millennia. The James Webb Space Telescope is not just a tool for exploring the cosmos, it is a gateway to new ways of thinking, new possibilities, and new horizons. And as we continue to explore, we are reminded that the universe is not just something to be understood, it is something to be experienced, cherished, and celebrated.